Got him. Take your time. L longing arm on him till he's a 10 pounder. This is what I like. Nice little sun shower. Today, I'm gonna turn this robo fish into a fully functioning fishing lure. So this is a little toy that I found on Amazon. And right there, it says it swims like a real fish. And apparently it changes color in the water. And I'm gonna make this a DIY. So in order to turn this robo fish into a fishing lure, I'm gonna have to pop it open, obviously. I gotta drill a hole in the little fin. I'm gonna use some hard wire that I typically use for sharks or barracudas and stuff like that to hook this treble hook to the back of the robo fish to turn it into a fishing lure. Now all I need is my trusty drill. All right, first things first, we gotta pop this thing open. We're struggling to get this open. I promise you it's gonna be really cool. Ah, oh, I got it. And there we have it. Today, I am turning this robo fish toy into a actual fishing lure and we're gonna catch some fish when it gets wet. It's gonna swim just like that. If you're working with power tools, kids, make sure your parents are supervising. So yeah, I'm just sitting at my desk and I gotta drill a hole right through the plastic, right here. Sorry, fishy. That's it. It is done. So now the next step is to put on the wire and connect the treble hook to the toy. So now we've got the wire on the fish and it's time to add a treble hook right about here. So it's dangling behind the tail. There are better ways to do this. This is the stuff that I had in my garage to make the, the lure. But this is more of just of a creative challenge. So I'm sure you guys can figure out at home, you know, better ways to, to do this. I'll be right back when I'm done. Here we have it. It came out a little longer than I wanted, but we're gonna work with what we got, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a professional lure maker. This is just for fun to see if it can actually work. So I'm gonna drill another hole up here so that I can tie my fishing line, and we're gonna take this out in the field and see if we can catch a fish. Guys, stay tuned. Hey, let's go catch a fish. CEO Fishing is brought to you by The Real Hooker Bait and Tackle, Nines Optics, and Livingston Lures. Enjoy the episode. Okay guys, I just pulled up to the first location that I'm gonna check out. Let me get my Nines Optics on. That way I can see the fish before the fish see me coming, you know? And that's it. Oh, shout out to the Fish Fringy crew. Maddie. I see you, my guy. Uh, I'll be fishing with you very soon for some more snakeheads and some largemouth bass. So if you guys wanna see some snakehead and bass action, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on your notification bell right now because it's coming, it's coming. I think uh, later this week or next week, I'll be up uh, in Palm Beach. Uh, fishing my butt off so stay tuned for that but now it's time to catch a fish on my homemade lure with the little floppy tail let's go i drilled a hole in the dorsal so now i'm going to run my fluorocarbon leader right through there and i'm going to just use a cinch knot nothing nothing crazy to uh tie on the knot get a few twists Give the hawk to it. Right there is nice and secure. My bait fish is alive, guys. My bait fish is alive. Look at that. But yeah, the robo fish is ready to catch some real fish. So let's go. All right, I always like to walk up and check the structure first, but then I'm gonna just walk the canal bank. Robo fish from Amazon. Check it. That should go pretty good. Cast it out there. See what happens. It's swimming. <laughs> That's pretty funny. First thing I notice is when I'm trying to pull it towards me, I guess the location of where I have the line tied, it wants to turn the fish to the side. So I'm gonna have some issues with that, but we're gonna work with it and we're still gonna try and catch a fish. Stay tuned because I got no doubt that I'm gonna catch something. You saw me just make this at my house and uh, gonna cast this out and we're just gonna work it back kind of along the shoreline here. Like I said before, it swims horrible. So I would definitely stick to using my, my Livingston lures, honestly, because this thing does not swim very well. Uh, it swims on its own, 
but when I put tension on the line, it kind of pulls sideways. So I don't, I'm not a fan of that. When I bring it up fast, it kind of goes in a circle, but uh, we're gonna give it a try anyways. Just work these edges. The Finding Nemo lure actually swam better than this. Ooh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. Something out of nowhere came and just smacked it. But I think because I have the hook so far back, it didn't get the hook. Oh, and I just got the hook stuck in a rock. I'll be right back. All right, so something just flashed on me. I got stuck on the rocks though. But look, I think that whipping sound right there is actually attracting the fish. So we're gonna give this another cast. Let's go, I'm gonna toss this right here. Woo. And it's swimming. I'm letting it sink. I'm letting it sink. Just don't want to get stuck on the rocks. Let's go this way. Ah, oh, I spooked it. If I had a, if I had like a, a living sand jerk bait or something, or a, a paddle tail, I bet you I would have just got that fish that was over there. Let me make sure I don't get snagged. And it was a nice peacock bass too. That was a nice one. You win some and you lose some, guys. You don't always land the fish. Hmm. Whoa. Ha. This is fun. This is fun. There is a fish going after my, my lure now. You know you want it. Oh. Not good enough, though. Maybe I should have hooked the treble here and then there. Would have been a little bit better. But, uh... We're gonna keep trying here. I am going to catch a fish with this toy fish. I'm going to actually bend this over here. So I'm gonna get rid of some of the length on here. We'll call this a little ghetto rig. There we go, now it's closer to where the, the fish is striking. I don't wanna break my plastic either, but here we go. Let's do this. All right, the lure is swimming straight at me right now. Straight at me. Now it's actually just swimming along the uh, the drop, which is pretty cool. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. <laughs> Something just came up and hit me. <laughs> no, oh no. All that work, all that effort, and uh, my knot came loose. No, that is a fail. That is a fail and a half right there, boys and girls. I did not think that would happen. I thought I had it on good enough. I should have tied a different knot. I was just trying to keep it simple. Hey, but it worked, it, it hooked a fish. Ah, oh, so disappointed. I was not able to catch a fish on my robo fish, but I did catch a fish on the Finding Nemo lure. So check that out. That way I'm not leaving you guys high and dry without seeing some kind of DIY toy fishing lure working. And we've done a bunch. We've done several Finding Nemo lures. We've done um, Fortnite lures and stuff. I've done made lures popping corks out of actual like wine bottle corks. So done a lot of creative things. I'm gonna do these once in a while but obviously the main focus is just fishing but for now enjoy this catch because i caught a really nice peacock bass on the finding nemo this is a big no get the big 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 right here, right here. got nemo got nemo. nemo we got nemo there's a giant fish underneath that bush and we have finding nemo yeah monster ones right here oh 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 oh, oh bro jake you wait you got him got him take your time Take your time, take your time. Oh, he's a strong one. Take your time. Mo monster, take your time, Brian. Brian got a monster on Fighting Nemo. We got the Florida fishing product, guys. What? This is the biggest fish I've caught in a while, peacock wise. On Nemo. Take your time. Bro. Oh my gosh. Bro. Oh my gosh. Bro. Bro. You have to land that. Bro. Bro. Oh my gosh. Bro. Bro, it's eight pounder. Come here. Come here. No! I got him, I got him, I got him. 
Bro. Oh my God. Bro. Oh Bro, God. that's an eight pounder. Bro, he's still pulling drag. He's still pulling drag. No. That's an eight pound peacock. It's an eight pound peacock. Dude. Oh my. On the Nemo, guys. Get here, On the freaking Nemo. You did it, Brian. Take that baby off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got the pizza very well. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Freaking On the Nemo. On the Nemo. From cast to hookup, we got him. Bro, he was screaming drag, man. Bro, stick that baby out. Look at that. Long, long, long arm on him till he's a ten pounder. He's, I know how some of y'all be. Hey, he's just, he's just, he's just under ten. Beautiful spots. Wow. That boy thick though. Guys, that boy thick on the Nemo, guys. Hey, make sure you give this video a like. This ain't easy. Guys, be sure to subscribe for more videos to come. Make sure you have your notifications on. Plenty more videos to come. Road to three million subscribers. Catch you next time. If you guys have any other ideas or what would have worked better other than using a real fishing lure, you know, let me know because honestly, that lure did not swim good. The Finding Nemo one was balanced different. It actually swam better. Uh, that one kind of went in circles if I pulled it, like way off to the side. So, you know, I'm turning to your better knowledge. I'm just out here having fun, but I am gonna go get a regular lure and go and try and catch another fish because uh, I can't end the day that way. That was way too fast. I just think the first fish I hooked, it came off. That's crazy. And it's starting to rain harder. Give me a six pounder. Oh, shoot. And drops are starting to come through the trees now. Ooh, got one. <laughs> Look at that. Little guy, but I ain't skunked. I knew there was a little guy out there somewhere. I know y'all hear that. Looks like we're fishing in the rain today. Oh yeah, what could go wrong guys? South Florida weather, that's what. Woo! Seems like I called the thunder more than the peacocks. Uh oh. Daddy's getting wet, and not in a good way. Everything's getting closer to me. Camera and bags are getting wet. I'm dedicated to this. Why? Welcome to South Florida weather, boys and girls. Woo! Yeah, this is what I like. Nice little sun shower. Jeez. Right. We're just gonna put this aside. Once again, I find myself victim of some crappy weather. It's really bad right now. There you go. I'm absolutely soaked. I've been sick as hell. Just trying to get out here and film for you guys, but I only got to catch one small fish. Broke off on a freaking peacock bass on my my lure and the crazy thing is i bought that i bought that freaking robo fish over two years ago to use it right uh chuck won't start now oh there it goes Woo! i bought it to use and i never use it finally just today i'm like you know what let me go out and use this robo fish i do it and the first fish i hook up on pops off because of a bad knot should have used like an improved sense or something else or maybe put like a a split ring on it or something so i had a better knot to tie to i think the gap was just a little too wide where the hole was to the edge of the plastic where i drilled the hole but all in all it still worked it was i just wouldn't recommend it because it did not swim properly i'll stick to using a livingston lure or something like that um they, they tend to work a lot better plus they make noise underwater that attracts the fish Ugh. well let me see if i can weather the storm and find one more place to go but if not 
you guys heard that. That's thunder. Lots of lightning. So uh, we'll see. Give me a minute. Guys, I nearly just crapped my pants. That light, that light pole right there, that electric pole just got struck by lightning as I was pulling up. That was freaking crazy. Holy crap. And I'm here thinking I'm not too worried about the lightning and thunder, but that was close. Uh, damn. I just, I, th I think I gotta change my underwear. Not for real, but damn, that did scare the crap out of me. Be careful if you're out there, especially in Florida, because the lightning is no joke, and this weather's no joke. My truck is soaked. Uh, I had to come in and get a take a shower and put clean, dry clothes on so I don't have a soggy butt cheeks while I'm sitting here trying to edit. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and turn your notification bells on so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. But that's all we got today. Sorry I wasn't able to film more, but, you know, the weather is the weather. I can't control that. But until next time, guys, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz.